Hey guys, Kelly Fab here. And today I'm going to be doing my lipstick roulette update number one. I know that I wanted to do an update earlier in the month, but it just didn't work out that way. And yeah, so I am doing my first update right now. And I will show you all of the products that I have, the ones I'm going to be keeping, the ones I'm not quite sure of still, and the ones I'm going to be decluttering because there are quite a few of them actually going to be decluttering, surprisingly enough. So if you guys want to see this and see me pick out some new products for the upcoming couple weeks, then just keep on watching. So these are all of the lipsticks that I chose and I just put them in a little organizer. I know it doesn't work all that well, trust me but it works for my purposes and what I am doing. So first off, I will show you what I'm wearing today and it is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Chili Chili. And here it is on my lips. I will also give you a close-up swatch of it. So this is one product I'm actually going to be keeping surprisingly. I do think it's nearing its last leg of life to be totally honest. But I want to get some more use out of it. I really do like this super, super dark, kind of vampy, brown, red type of color. And it does dry down completely matte. It is a ColourPop Ultra Matte Formula, which if you guys know, it is very, very drying. But what I typically like to do is I like to put a very thick lip balm underneath. And then I put this on top as that one's starting to dry out and it works perfectly and I really don't have any issues with it. So I will be keeping the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Chili Chili. The next one I'm gonna be keeping is the Lime Crime little sample I have here and this is in the shade Riley and this is the Velveteen type. Sorry, if you guys are hearing little kids yelling in the background, that's because the school that's like right next to my house is letting out right now. So very sorry about that but I will give you a swatch of this one as well. So I do feel like this Lime Crime one is a much lighter weight formula than this ColourPop one. I do like it. It does sheer out a little bit on my lips, but if I put a second layer on or just kind of really kind of thicken it, I really don't have any issues with it. The smell is a little bit not my favorite, but it does go away after a little bit of time and it does stay on the lips pretty well. I didn't have to reapply this a million times and I did really enjoy this color. So yeah, I'm going to be keeping this one. This is the only Lime Crime lipstick that I do have in my collection. I would like to pick up the shade Cashmere. I know that Lime Crime has their whole issues that they have in life, but I've never tried that shade and people talk about it all the time, but this is the shade Riley and I will be keeping it. Another one that I am keeping this go around is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade 11 Precious. So this is more of a mauve dark pink shade and I will give you a swatch of it. So one thing I will say about this Milani one is the fact that it is so incredibly drying. Like even more than the ColourPop one, this one's so drying. The formula is ridiculous. Like when they say butthole lips, like that's literally what I get with this. But I do the exact same thing with this one. After I wore it the one time and I was like, oh my God, I have to take it off immediately. I ended up putting on my Burt's Bees lip balm because it's a very thick formula for me and I put this on almost immediately after and it was perfectly fine. It didn't it didn't smudge all over the place because it was on top of the lip balm which was nice but I really did enjoy this color. This color looked fantastic with my skin and with my tan and you can tell that I have used it quite a few times. You can kind of see the tube up here on it. So I have definitely used this quite a few times and I'm gonna to be totally happy putting this back in my collection and reaching for it. So I am gonna be keeping this Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in 11 Precious. Another one that I have here is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. That is the longest name ever, by the way. And this is in the shade Lady Balls. It is the red color. This was the shade that I was wearing in my intro video, I'm pretty sure. And I will give you a swatch of this one as well. So this one was not as drying and it was also a very lightweight formula. But the color, seriously, that red, I swear to God, that was like the best red. It's like 
just deeper than like an apple red, but it's still like a dark apple red. It's like a red delicious, you know? And it just looked so good. I got so many compliments on that video with my lipstick. And I really do enjoy this one. I've worn it quite a few times since, and I've gotten compliments every time I wear it. I'm not typically a red lipstick wearer, so I'm very, very picky about my red lipsticks. But I really did enjoy this one, and I can see myself using it a ton this summer. I have a bunch of things to go to this summer. And it really does stay in place after I let it set down and dry. I did notice if I didn't let it completely set down, it did move a little bit on my lips and go outside of my lip line, which was a little bit annoying. But if I just put it on and didn't do anything and didn't talk for a little bit and let it set down and dry, it did stay completely set where I put it. So I did enjoy that. It does get on your teeth just the tiniest bit, but not enough to make me annoyed. So I am going to be keeping this one. And the final one that I am going to be keeping this month is the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick in the shade Griselda. So this was a very very deep shade for me here it is here it's like super vampy like black purple color is how I would describe it it definitely doesn't it has like a somewhat of a brown shift to it but I would say it's more black than brown and it definitely has a purple shift in it but I'm going to give you a little swatch of it here. So as you can tell with this one, even with the swatch that I showed you, it does have a little bit of like the color is missing from the outside. The formula is fantastic. It was super comfortable on the lips. It felt so good to rub your lips together. It wasn't super drying. It did, you know, like if you touched it, it would get on your fingers, which I don't totally mind. But... What I did notice is it was extremely, extremely patchy on my lips when I put it on, but I found out that if I use a really good, dark, deep lip liner, it worked a million times better. So I would only recommend this shade in Griselda if you have a deep, dark lip liner to go with it. I mean, obviously you can use a different lip liner if you want it to have a different sort of shade, but me personally, I ended up using the Kat Von D Everlasting um, Lip Liner Crayon in the shade Homegirl. So I am going to swatch this right next to it and show you guys. So as you can see, this Homegirl shade is almost exactly the same shade as Griselda. And that is what made this lipstick so nice for me. I really, really enjoyed it when I wore it with the lip liner. I did wear it in one of my videos. I will link that video down below so you can see it on my lips. But that shade, I got so many compliments on that shade. The only person that did not like that shade was my husband. That's because he likes a very neutral or a very pinkish reddish lip on me. And I sometimes like to do a dark vampy type of lip. So. I did get a lot of compliments on that lip when I wore it and I did wear it quite a few times to make sure that it was a lip that I could wear in the future and not just for an hour filming a video if that makes sense because I want to be able to wear all of these shades throughout the day if I put them on in the morning so this is a shade I will be keeping and I'm only keeping it because I have this lip liner if I didn't have this lip liner to go with it I would not be keeping this this is way too patchy on its own it looks terrible it clings to any dry spots on your lips but if you wear it with a lip liner with hydrated lips it looks so great and so vampy. I loved this one. So the next color I have is the ColourPop Lippy Stick and this is in the shade Hype Girl and this is the matte formula. So I do have quite a bit of this left. I remember wearing it a ton last summer when I picked it up. So this is what happens when you roll ColourPop Lippy Sticks up all the way. This drives me crazy. See how it wastes some of the product when you roll it down? So I'm going to try to use that wasted product for the swatch. So this ColourPop shade in the shade Hype Girl is one I will be coming back to. I'm not completely sold on it. I did wear it a couple times and I felt like it was a little bit light for my skin, but I only started wearing it since I got back from Florida. 
so I obviously got a little bit of a tan since I've been or since I was in Florida and I think this is more of a winter lip color for me so I'm gonna try this shade again at the end of the year when my tan kind of fades away and see if this is a shade I can work with and if I try it again and I'm not satisfied with it I will be decluttering it but I do remember wearing this a ton over last winter so I really want to keep it and try it again because I really remember liking it so yeah I'm gonna keep this around in my try again bin pile whatever you want to call it and try this one again the next product I have is the Revlon Colorstay moisture stain and this one is in the shade 20 Rio Rush so I remember seeing this on their ad and it was Olivia Wilde who is gorgeous by the way she had this color on her lips and I bought it because she looked so good with this color on her lips but this is not really a color for me <laughs> I will show you a swatch of it here so this is exactly what it says it's a moisture stain so first of all I didn't find that it was very moisturizing at all and not only the fact but i think it's getting really really old the smell on it has seemed to change so there's that but furthermore the fact that i just don't love this on my lips i was loving bright pink lips last summer and i know i'm gonna love them again this summer but this color in this formula it just didn't look right with me it did cling to my dry patches and it like got really really thick in some areas and really thin in others and I don't like formulas like that I want it to be a sheer wash of color throughout my whole you know my, all my lips if I'm gonna have a color stain and you know if not then I want a matte lip you know so I am going to be decluttering this I will be throwing it away because of the scent change I won't be giving it to a friend unfortunately but yeah, I'm gonna be getting rid of Rio Rush. So that's one decluttered item. The next one is another ColourPop lippy stick and this is in the shade BFF. And this is a glossy formula. Here it is here. It does look different in the tube than it looks on the lips. I will give you guys a little swatch of it. So this one here, I am definitely decluttering this. This formula, this glossy ColourPop lippy stick formula is not my formula. I just don't like it. I love the ColourPop lippy sticks and the Matte Axe formula. That's my favorite. But this one just did not work for me. The color was completely wrong on me. It didn't go on evenly. It looked terrible with my skin tone. It did not stay on for very long. It spread outside of my lip line very, very easily. I was so dissatisfied with this product. I remember not fully liking it when I purchased it, but I was like, you know, I'm gonna give it a couple tries and see how it goes. I am completely decluttering this at this point. I did sanitize the top of it after I swatched it, obviously, so that I can give it to a friend. So this one is going to be given away. The formula is not different on this one at all and the scent has not changed, so I will be giving this to a friend. The next item I have is the Noya. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but it's the Noya lipstick. And this is in the shade Smoke. It is a gray toned brown. And I thought I would love this shade. I really did. Here it is here. It's just a little mini sample. This totally looks like a shade that I wear all the time. But, so this Noya lipstick definitely pulls more gray toned, blue toned on me than it does brown. Brown tone I feel looks really good. It makes my teeth look white. This is a very brown toned lipstick. This one looked terrible. I put it on and my teeth looked so yellow. It was not even funny how yellow my teeth looked. It looked terrible. So for that reason, I am going to be decluttering this, but if it was a different shade, the formula was extremely nice on this. I could wear it for many, many hours, which I did just to test the formula, even though I hated the color. 
I did wear it around my house so that I didn't have to worry about people thinking that I had the most yellow teeth in the entire world. And yeah, the formula was very long wearing. It did remove when you touched it and it did move around a little bit. Not enough to be something that I would never wear. But if I got a different shade in this formula, I would definitely wear it and keep it. But this shade is just not right for me. It is so gray toned and it looks terrible with my skin and my teeth. So for that reason, I am decluttering this, but I will be giving it to a friend and sanitizing it. The very last lipstick I have in this little section is my Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. Once again, longest name ever in the shade It's Happening. So this lipstick I really, really did enjoy. The problem I had with this lipstick is that it moves on your lips so much. I filmed a video wearing this lipstick and I swear to God, I had lipstick on my teeth so many times. I had to keep stopping and doing a mirror check because I kept getting lipstick in my teeth. So in my opinion, this one moved so much more than Lady Balls did. So this red one, it did move and get on my teeth a little bit, but not as much as it's happening. So I don't know what the difference is in the formulas, but this one is definitely not as good as this one. I am, however, going to be keeping this and putting it in the use again pile because I want to try this over the summer. I really like bright pinks over the summer and I think this will be a fun one to give another shot to and what I'm going to have to do is let it completely dry down on my lips before I start talking basically. So I plan on trying this again over the summer especially with my tan when I do get a tan over the summer and seeing if I can make this work. If not, this is going to get decluttered after the summer if I'm not having it. So <laughs> I can't stand lipsticks getting all over my teeth. It drives me freaking nuts. So yes, I will be keeping this and trying this one more time. So those were all of the lipsticks in this first update. I have five that I have kept. The Milani, the Lime Crime, ColourPop, Fenty Beauty, and Too Faced. Two that I'm gonna be trying again, Hype Girl from ColourPop, and It's Happening from Too Faced. And three that I will be decluttering, ColourPop Lippy Stick in BFF, and the Noya Lipstick in Smoke are gonna be going to Friends, and the Revlon Color Stay Lip Stain in the shade 20 Rio Rush is going to be going in the garbage. So, I think I did pretty good. I ended up getting rid of three out of 10, which I feel like is really good progress for me. And two of them are gonna be tried again. So technically I really only kept five and I'm gonna be trying again two of the other ones. So I feel like I did really, really good on this first update. So I'm gonna go pick out about eight colors. I think 10 was a little bit too much, which is why I felt a little bit overwhelmed doing this update. So I think I'm going to pick out eight this time and do four to five liquid lipsticks and three to four regular lipsticks. And let's see what I come up with. Okay, so I have picked out my eight new colors for this next update. I picked out the Wet n Wild, the 99 cent lipstick, and this one is in the shade 513C, ready to swoon. And it is like a lighter pink, but on the packaging, it kind of looks like a dark pink. I picked out the NYX Whipped Lipstick in the shade Cocoa Bean. I did have this in a previous makeup drawer, but I kind of want to get a little bit of more use out of it and see if it's something I really want to keep. Then I have my lip, my Pure Cosmetics Lip Lure Hydrating Lip Lacquer, and this one is in the shade Fancy. It is a more of a nude pink type of color. So these are getting a little bit old, so I wanted to try to use it and see if it's something I should keep in my collection or if I should declutter it. Then I have my Revlon Ultra HD Lipstick in the shade 700 HD Sand. And it is definitely a nude brown type of shade. So I remember liking this, but I haven't worn it in a really long time. So I wanna try it out again. 
Then for my liquid lips that I chose, I chose the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip, and this is in the shade Brooklyn. It is a deeper pink color, and once again, I want to see if this will be a good one for summer. Then I have a Buxom Wildly Whipped Lightweight Liquid Lipstick in the shade Devious Dolly, and this is like the Dolly shade that you guys already know and love, only it's the liquid lipstick formula, so it is like a mauve toned color, and... I remember liking this, but I haven't tried it in a really long time, especially the formula. So I'm going to check this one out. Then this one came in a BoxyCharm last year in 2017. It is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Napa Valley. It is a very, very purple shimmery color. Honestly, I only think I would wear this for Halloween or videos or just whenever I felt like being out there and crazy. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try it out again and see if it's something that I can work with or if I should just declutter it because I don't wear stuff like this. But I feel like this is a fun color and I don't have anything like this in my collection. So I figured I would try it out. Then finally, something I got recently in a, I feel like it's a boxy charm that I got it in. It is the Tardiest Lip Paint, obviously, by Tarte. And it is in the shade XOXO, and it is a deep red color. I remember, I think I had to wear this with a lip liner to make it work. Um, so I'm going to try it again for a couple days without a lip liner, and then a couple days with a lip liner, and see if I can get it to work. So... Those were the eight new lipsticks that I chose to try out for this next section. Please let me know what you think about this lipstick roulette and if you would like to see swatches on my actual lips when I'm wearing these products because I can do like a quick little film clip of me actually putting on these products on my lips to see if they look different on my lips than on the swatches. Because obviously they are going to look a little bit different on my lips. As you can see with this Chili Chili shade, it looks slightly different on my lips than it does on the swatch. So if that is something that you guys would want, please leave me a comment down below and let me know or I can put a poll this side. I can put a poll up here and see if that's something that you guys want to have the lip swatches as well because then I can just insert a little clip of me swatching them on my lips. So let me know what you guys think and I hope this helped you if you are looking for one of these formulas or if you have very similar preferences to mine. I hope this helped you out in some way shape or form and I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye!